Welcome to uh, Del Mar edition of Fish and Corn. We are at the Del Mar Races, Del Mar Fair, well, Del Mar <laughs> Racetrack, where the uh, turf meets the surf. Eat the booger. <laughs> that was gross, dude. So, upon coming here on uh, Highway 5, coming north from South Bay, me and Corn getting off Dela, uh, Via De La Valle, and we pull up to this on the exit ramp. We pull up to this guy, white guy in a fairly new, named the model, he like cars here. What model? The oh, it was a... Mercedes. Something like your wife, yeah, kind of, but no, newer. No, no, this was a... Most of that, I didn't look too much. This was a... I was watching him. <laughs> <laughs> this was a uh, E350 um, coupe. Retails for how much? Yeah, in the 60s range, high 60s. Okay, we pull up to this thing, and this guy, no big deal. Fish picks his nose, picks his nose, yeah, because, you know, I'm Pinoy. We pick our nose, but we do not eat it. This guy ate the booger. Oh, it was roll it up, pursing his lips, like rolling it with his tongue. Late 50s, white dude. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. That was gross. Fuck yeah. That's something you see a little kid do, not a full-on yeah. richy rich dude adult. You should tell him how ashamed of you. I mean, you kick your mistress with those lips? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Probably, yes. dude. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> Do a lot worse than those lips. So. Yeah, <laughs> that going guy, back to Sasha Gray. Oh my God! But anyways, you know what, folks? It's our 200th episode. 200 coming to you from Del Mar. Yeah, hopefully that dude, uh, that security guard over there, doesn't uh, scope us out too closely here. <laughs> We're so contraband right now, dude. No liquor, but he's not. We've got our own liquor. I brought in a J. It's just over the top, man. <laughs> it's legal, though. Sort of. Because if you, you know, you're uh, a practicing uh, medicinal user. <laughs> practicing medicinal user. Yeah, but I don't think you can smoke it out in the open like that. But Wait, I don't care. Corn, check out our uh, framing. How's it looking there? It's looking pretty good, actually. Nice. But anyways, we'll have the uh, parade of the horses pretty soon. Make some bets. So we'll see where it goes from there. But this is the 200th motherfucker, yeah. and then we we're gonna, we're celebrating it in our own special way, the way we always celebrate things. <laughs> yes, you just living it up. style. But anyway, we got seats. We we uh, not to say anything bad, but we uh, brought our own alcohol in, and um, you know because it's high pricey. Did you notice the thing for a jumbo and it's only cores? 13 bucks yeah, for the big size. 13 bucks for a beer, dude. A beer. I mean, eh, it's hard to get drunk here, man. The casinos are cheaper. What's it? For 13 bucks, you can get a... Well, how much are the mixed drinks here? If you get an old-fashioned, what do you think? 12, 13? Yeah, it's in the $12 range. But that's still a lot of money for a mixed drink, man. Yeah, I'm more, I'll do like the A, I could do the Aider, you know what I mean, not be and be happy with it. See, that's the thing, if I'm going to drink, I'm I'm too cheap to drink at clubs or bars now. Oh, I, yeah, I, I, if I'll, it goes in that price, but if I'll it's just like... just buy it at the supermarket or at the Costco yeah. and drink on my own. Um, that's how I feel, and that's how, unless, you know, there's one thing where, you know, you if it's cheap enough... You get good at hiding flasks, let's yeah. just put it that way. <laughs> so ghetto. We're in the ghetto part. If you realize, we're on level three, and this is where all the smokers and uh, degenerate gamblers and uh, old folks hang out. Degenerate gamblers. Yeah. Under any types here that uh, go through the waste basket for food. Mm, Probably. I'm sure. I told you when I was in college, I used to do off-track betting, dude. I would spend two to three days a week at the track and not even betting on horses live, betting on horses fucking on TV and shit. Oh, that's pretty good. What about... No, it's... <laughs> it's did, you, bad you, did you... You drank this... Uh, you remember the time when the Del Mar races... Drink. Uh, when you could, if you stayed on a lower level, mm -hmm. you could fucking bring the goddamn cooler. You could cooler. bring your own goddamn cooler. That was awesome, dude. That was about 10 years ago they got rid of that shit, yeah. right? Well, I don't know if it's been 10 years, but it's, it's been a while. And I, I, I miss that. You know, you should be about, able to bring your own booze to this kind of thing. 
You know, I agree. Uh, at least, you know, like they had a, a section, you know, you bring in your cooler, but again, people could not handle it. It's like, it. you can't drink at the beach anymore. What the fuck is that about? Just we had a time years and years ago on the Wind and Sea Beach, can't do that anymore. Probably a fun time because you just can't do it anymore. That was an epic time, man. That was that time we uh, had those two suitcases of Coors Light. Mm -hmm. And we couldn't get drunk for the fucking life of it. Big mountain of it. And uh, we had a camera and this guy, a neighborhood uh, <laughs> flunky guy, came to the bunch <laughs> a, a beach with us and we had good old, uh, another homeless dude. The world traveler though. Yeah. He was and a world traveler. That's right, he was a world traveler. More on him later. But basically, we just partied this place out and we had a professional grade camera on the beach. So we had all these like bikini clad young girls Types. coming up and we think they were like for teen B, yeah, you know? They're mugging to get their picture taken and shit. Now it would be like if you're on E. That's the equivalent nowadays. E or yeah. like TMZ. No, I thought you were talking about E as an ecstasy. No, E <laughs> channel, you know, the oh, okay. entertainment ones. No, no I, haven't, I haven't watched that shit in years. Go on, the fish has to spit. Well, at least it's not in the shed this time. <laughs> so, let's change views for our viewers here. I'm gonna do jail side style. Let's move this to, well, right there, no, right here. Now it's pointed too far down. You're breaking it up. This is a fish and corn show. Anything can happen. I might eat my booger. No. <laughs> but you're not in a fancy Mercedes. Oh, dude, you always know how to kill it, corn. <laughs> Give my fantasy, you know. What if that was it? I, you get off on eating your booger. That was the only thing you need in your life. Wouldn't that be kind of magical? <laughs> and cheap, cheap thrills. <laughs> That would be boogers. pretty epic. And that's all I need, dude. It's better than masturbation, I suppose. Ah, oh, jeez. We're having te technical difficulties here at the show. Mm. Yeah, the outlets. Oh, you maybe here. So we're gonna bet anything on this one? I'm not, because I didn't get to see the horsies. Let's stop here and come to another new fresh clip. Whoops. 